Hey, Collective, it's your girl, Spiritual Sage. Listen, I be reading y'all comments. I'm glad that I'm able to help y'all. I really am. I know not everyone's going to resonate with the readings. But for those of you who do resonate and get some type of confirmation or just, you know, a little bit of guidance, even if it's just one sentence, that's what keep your girl going, you know? So I want to thank y'all for that, man. For real. So let's see, Spirit. What message do you have for my beautiful collective? Oh, my God. What was her name? See, I got to start writing stuff down. I be wanting to say things, give shout-outs, and then I don't write it down. Damn, what was her name? Hmm. Next time I do a reading, I will be sure to write her name down so I can give her a shout-out. She's another reader. She came up in my feed last night, and baby, when I say that thing was on point from the beginning to the end. Okay? So, let's see, Spirit. What is that? Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Choosing your path. All is possible. Okay, so whoever this is, they got this sword of truth. They know the truth. And they're getting ready to set out. You need to know. You see all that armor on this person? This person need to know y'all protected. Just period. Whatever it is you finna do, you are protected. Don't let no fear or nobody. What's this? Mm, joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. I'm talking about for real, y'all. It's something that somebody want to do. Maybe they've been wanting to do it. Go ahead and do it. You got a lot of protection around you. You, you might have people who trying to Keep your fall in. But this is giving me like the six of swords. Six of swords image right here. Your spirit guides are guiding you forward. And you see how that armor on this boat? You protected. I don't care where you going, what you doing. You've been given the green light. To, to it, the Spirit says it, it, all of it is possible. Some of you guys could be creating plans. Or just visualizing what it is that you want. You might have people around you telling you, oh, that's crazy. That'll never work. Spirit says all is possible, okay? Your path is going to be different from other people's path. A lot of times, you just need to keep shit to yourself. Yes, you do now. Because the people that be around you, a lot of times, they don't want what's good for you. Okay, so I don't know who need to hear that, but that was for somebody. Let's uh, open up with the Kipper. <laughs> yeah, pathway. It's... <laughs> okay. Pathway, courtship. And main female. So whoever this is getting ready to get on this pathway. Um, yeah, this person went through a lot of changes, child. And, you know, I talked about this in a live back in the summer. Everything in your life will begin to die, will begin to change, okay? Just period. Because you're getting on your spiritual path here. You are chosen, a chosen child. Um, a lot of the people that were in your life up until this point, they were there to teach you some lessons so you can learn and grow. They have served their purpose, and now it's time to keep on going down the road. Well, those people, may, they, you know, they, get, they start to get upset because they can't use you anymore. They can't benefit from you anymore. Now that you done found your light and you done found your, your truth, they start to... Keep, you know, try to, this is giving like seven of cups. Yep, distant thunder. I knew it. It's some shit finna come your way. You're gonna have to clear the air with somebody. Because wherever you're going, these people don't want you to go. Uh, it could be one person, one particular person, or it could be a lot of people. But Spirit is telling you all is possible. So don't stop. Keep moving forward. There is a lot of protection around you. I wonder what this is right here. They're trying to confuse you with this foul in. But Spirit said, go slow, take your time, but just make sure you're moving. You're continuing to move. Don't get stuck and stagnant. Do not get stuck and stagnant, okay? So, we're going to look at and see just what in the fuck this distant thunder is. Because we ain't got time. Okay? Yeah, it's this. That's what it is. Why I say these people is putting your life, see? How you was chained to them. They want to keep you that way. But see, you done found your truth. You done broke the chain. And here you are walking by yourself. 
Somebody wants you to drag them along with you. Can't do that. If they haven't grown, if they haven't went through no type of change, then they can't go with you where you're going. You got to be okay with that. And don't let these people make you feel guilty for where you're going. Because whoever this is is about to step into a lot of abundance. Oh, what the cards say? You have done the work. Abundance flows to you now. And so these folk finna be mad because they can't eat with you. They can't use you, manipulate you, because you know you done found your truth, child. Yeah, that's who it is. You done found your damn truth, Emperor. Yeah, truth. Ace of Swords. I mean, King of Swords. You see, he got that, that, that sword right there. That's the sword of truth. So now this Emperor is setting out on a new journey. What I say, you got a lot of protection around you. Don't let these folk look, man. It might you might get a message in from somebody with the page of wands. Someone who's completely codependent with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This person's broken with the Three of Swords. And they want to keep you in this broken, codependent ass space. And then they want to make you feel guilty on top of it for choosing yourself. Nah. What you doing? You supposed to be doing. You supposed to be doing. But see, they want to throw a lot of shit in your path to of pentacles with the two of swords because this person used to you taking care of them with the queen of pentacles now that queen of pentacles could be anybody i feel like you're getting ready to go toward this empress you know when you get on this spiritual path you're going to be guided toward like-minded individuals so you're going to be guided toward this empress then we see that courtship yeah courtship right here uh-huh but see this main female is is trying to keep your ass in despair or they're in despair because they can't steal from you. False person is this damn privileged lady. Didn't we just see that Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, that's who this is. The reason they are a thief, remember we saw the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That's a thief. Could be somebody that you got a child with. Okay? Or this person could have been in your life uh, ever since childhood. Take it how it resonates. But this person wants to be the main female in your life, but they ain't did no growth, no healing, no none of that. They want to drag you along with this damn three of swords. Hell no, nah, you not came out, came all of that. You've grown out of it. You've changed. And so now you want something real. This is someone who feels like, um, and this came up in another reading. They feel entitled to your energy. Because you finna step into a whole lot of abundance. And believe it or not, them devil energies, they can see it. They know where you finna go, it's finna be beautiful. And this person wants to go with you, but they ain't done the fucking work. They could have been the main woman in your life for a long ass time. But now that you done hopped off in that emperor energy, that emperor want a damn empress. These two motherfuckers right here build empires. You can't build nothing with a thief. You can't build nothing with that person. And so, since they haven't found their sense of direction, they want to keep you lost. Hell no. So, what's the distant thunder spirit? They about to come in here with some bullshit. Y'all can see, that's your spirit, guys. Guiding you forward with the six of swords. Oh, my goodness, child. Ace of cups, four of swords with the queen of cups. So, it's like spirit has been guiding you to do a lot of self-love, self-care, go toward like-minded individuals. And this person that who's been in your life for a long-ass time is losing their fucking mind. And so, here's the towel. They finna try to do some dumb shit. There it is right there. Sell my swords. You don't have time for this. This is someone who's deliberately trying to block your path. You don't have time for this. That's why the readings be coming out here. Let y'all know, look, you got distant thunder. Seven of swords. Hold back from this person. They're going to try to come in. It's some type of message. Let me get my other deck. Because, see, we ain't got these motherfuckers to do. Not today, neither tomorrow. What's going on, spirit? They're going to give you some half-ass information. Kind of like seeing you on this wild goose, goose chase. Or keep you, like, stuck in the head or something like that. Your work here is done. It's done. Done. And I don't give a fuck how long this person come with the nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles. They've been in your life for a long time. Either it's your baby mother, okay, or you've been knowing this person ever since you was a child. So they're gonna come in here with some type of page of one's message. They've been studying something. They've been studying. Oh hell no. Okay, so whatever this is that you're walking into, I feel like you're walking on a spiritual path. This person been studying that stuff. But they haven't really did any growth. 
But they've been studying and acting like they have. Yes, Spirit say, use caution with this, my fucker. It's really the karmic. It's really that devil energy. Okay, with the seven of swords here, this person is just trying to cause blockages in your life. You don't have time for this. Okay, what that is. Yeah, this person's guarded. They guarded. And look, remember I said they've been studying something. See, you don't kick this person out, right? And what I mean, you don't kick them out your life. I don't even feel like you did it. I feel like your spirit guys did it. It's like you've been growing, growing, growing. This person been doing the same old, same old, same old. So y'all don't have nothing in common. An emperor with a queen of pentacles. Y'all ain't got shit in common no more. Okay? And this person been getting a whole bunch of fucking tarot card readings. That could be what they were studying. So they could know that you're getting ready to go toward this emperor. So they finna try to come in here and block your path. So spirits is caution. They're gonna try to give you some. It says you are missing a major piece to the puzzle. Whatever this message is, it's not all the way true, man. It says something significant about New Year's. This could happen around New Year's, or it could just be that you're having a brand new beginning, and it does not involve this person. They don't even know how to vibrate on your level. They're going to be trying. They're going to be trying to fake the funk. That's why Spirit just saying, look, you, yeah, I knew that's what it was. You've grown. You were steady growing. And so now this emperor, one of the emperors, you're being guided toward like-minded individuals. And you see them old hands right there? That's them spirit guys. The most high God is protecting the hell out of you. I saw it in this car with all that armor on. And then the seven of wands came out. So you're going to be protected from all of this. But this is someone who feels like they own you. Because you've been tied and bound to this person for so long. So you're going to have with this distant thunder... You have to put up some boundaries with this person. Tell them what it is and what it ain't. Okay? Our time here is done. There ain't nothing else to talk about. If you got a little a little Sarah with them or a little JoJo, talk about that. Let's co-parent. But as far as me and you doing anything sexual or any of that, it's done. Tired of playing these baby red ass games with you. You ain't doing nothing but blocking my path forward. And spirit is guiding you to get the hell on. Yeah, with the phase on soon, this person don't want to let you go, child. Ain't no telling what they're trying to do to keep you stuck. But I feel like you've outgrown it. Ah, uh, obsessed, child. This person is obsessed with your energy. Because this is a karmic on the soul level. I don't care how they look on the physical. Y'all need to know this is spiritual warfare, okay? These obsessive-ass energies, they're going to continue to try to come up against the emperor and the empress. Because these are two souls. Stop looking at it on the physical. These are two souls who have been chosen to do something. So these obsessive ass people feel like you belong to them. Like this person's very obsessive and possessive. Uh-uh. You gonna have to tell this person. Well, yeah, I told you they want you to be bound to them. They want you to be bound to them. Hell no, nah. Spirit said you having a brand new beginning. This the shit I be. Ooh, what else, Spirit? These people are die trying to keep you stuck. They will die trying. Cause that's their mission. They were sent here to kill, steal, and destroy. They've already shown up as the thief with the seven of swords and obsession and the devil. All of this is happening on the soul level. People need to start looking at things from a higher perspective now. So this person's going to come in here performing, acting like they have grown. No, the hell, they ain't done shit. This person just trying to become a blockage. Because they know you, make, you, you got a decision to make. You can do another round with this person, another... Was a cycle last what five to ten, five to seven years or what? I wouldn't want to do another day. So this person know you got a choice. You see that road? What path are you gonna take? Spirit is choosing your path, pathway. What path are you gonna take? And so whoever this is in your life, whether it's your own mama or your baby mama or whoever the fuck it is that you've been going around and around with, Spirit said, "Oh, baby, you have outgrown this shit. You've outgrown it." Okay, and so you've been having romantic thoughts about this empress. Spirit says you you go towards this empress. The time is now, and all is possible. Don't let this person put no fucked up thoughts in your head. Okay, because that's what they're gonna try to do. Make you think y'all still got something there. No, your work with that person is done. That shit been done. Copycat. What I say? They studying. They've been watching tarot card readings. They know that the emperor. It's destined to be with the Empress. Now, this is old Queen of Pentacles person. Now, 
Oh, materialistic person. But they're going to be copying everything that the real empress does so that you will stay with them. This person's going to try to convince you that y'all are destined to be together. Listen, yes, this person was destined to be in your life to teach you some lessons. Now that you have grown from this, now it's time to go toward the person that you was destined to live out the rest of your life with, child. And it damn sure ain't this copycat motherfucker right here. This person trying to keep you from your abundance. The level of abundance that you're going to walk into as you're walking toward this like-minded individual, you will never, ever receive that type of abundance dealing with this person. You will feel like you're working hard for the rest of your life. Once you go towards this right here, that work will become easy. Why? Because you will be on your destined path. So that means all of those blessings that the Most High God is having that, that wants to give you, you're on your path to get them. When you're on the path with the wrong person, you're constantly going outside of your lane to try to get them damn blessings. And then whatever you do bring in, this person just stealing them from you some kind of way on a soul level. Stealing your energy, stealing your money, whatever the hell they can. You've outgrown this person just pure point blank. Man or woman, take it how it resonates. Okay? What else? Yes, yeah, a whole lot of shit going on behind the scenes. Ain't no telling what the hell this person doing. Because they're getting all these damn tarot card readings on you. They know you ain't destined to be with they ass. Yeah. What I said is this either your baby mama or your own mama. It's toxic. And see, this person's lazy. They don't want to get up and do no damn work. They want to keep you stuck and bound to them. Yet with leaving it all behind, coming up in the reverse. They want to keep you bound to them so that they can continue to eat off of you. You are an emperor. You got to start believing in yourself, child. Get the hell away from this person. It's old. To it's toxic, child. You saw the devil. And then somebody... The Queen of Cups is the mother figure. So can the uh, Queen of Pentacles. But, but I'm getting something different. I'm getting something has been laid to rest with uh, the mother of a child here. With toxic family. And you're going toward an empress who's a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, because this other person is completely codependent. Not this damn empress. Mm -mm. And they want to keep you down any way that they can. You got to start seeing through the truth. This is somebody who just want to use you. And like I said, because they can't use you anymore, they're getting upset. Overdoing it. They are overdoing it. This person could have even gave you a fake-ass tarot card reading or something. But you got to know. There's something going on with that. And if this person is a damn reader, you might be stuck between two readers because somebody is copying everything that this empress does. You have to use your discernment. The person that you are being guided toward, that's the person that you need to go to. Yeah, Spirit says there will be a reason to celebrate, but not with this fake motherfucker. All they want to do is steal from you. They toxic. They will never change. People have to stop looking at shit on the physical level. On a soul level, you could be sitting right next to this person and y'all souls are at war. Somebody need to look up the 144,000 because I feel like this emperor and this empress is part of the 144,000 chosen individuals. So hell yeah, these damn demons, they're going to do everything that they can to keep y'all stuck on the soul level. What I say, they want you to be bound to them. Free, you didn't freeze yourself. Look, get my merch, child. Because I feel like this emperor and the empress, they're going to be the first in their family. That's what my shirt say. Breaking the chains. I am the first. This person trying to keep you stuck. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Why would you stay stuck and you done grew past it? Because at this point, then you just repeating another cycle. And every time we repeat these cycles after learning the lesson, it get harder and harder and harder. No. Nah. Go towards your rewards. Go towards your abundance. Spirit says all is possible. I can't make it up. Go toward your reward and your abundance. Your upgraded life is waiting for you. All you got to do is choose it. Fork in the road. All you got to do is choose what path you want to go on. Do you want to deal with this baby mama bullshit again? Or baby daddy, take it where it resonates. It's too toxic. And it will never be what it is that you deserve. It will never, listen to me, it will never be what you deserve. But see, you must first realize that. And I feel like you have. And that's why this person about to come in with some old bullshit ass lies and all this old crazy shit. They might even try to tell you, oh, I'm pregnant. I don't see it right here. But listen, these types of motherfuckers come up with any and everything. Then they've been studying spirituality, okay, to try to act like they done grew. They ain't grew no damn well. Again, use caution with this person. 
Because I tell you this, whatever abundance you do have waiting for you on this path, if you bring this person with you, you won't get it. People have life all messed up. When it comes to this destined partnership with the twin flame, if you bring this devil motherfucker with you, this karmic, look up what karmic means. Look up twin flame and karmic partners. If you bring this karmic partner with you, because that's exactly what it is, copycat seven of swords with toxic family, you will never get that level of abundance. And you continue to repeat the cycle and you will be feeling fucking bound. Next thing you know, don't be stubborn. Oh, shit. Emperor, do not be stubborn and stay stuck with this month. All right. All right. What else, spirit? Trying to tell you. There's too much shit going on behind the scenes. It's too much. Somebody done got these fake ass tarot card reading. And they're trying to tell you that they are your empress. How? You will know when you are with your divine being. I'm not saying it's easy or breezy. But it ain't none of this shit right here. None of it. None of it. Because these people are living in their highest self. Listen, the caution keeps popping up. Somebody wants you to think that they are the empress. They're not. It just period. This motherfucker is... With obsessions, the Empress ain't got no obsessions in her. These are all low vibrating energies. There's nothing obsessive about this Empress. But this copycat person is very obsessive and they feel like you, they're not going to let you go. Oh, yeah, upgrade in the reverse. Spirit is telling you if you stay with this toxic family member, you will lose your upgrades. You might get a brand new job right now. Try to take this person with you. See how long it lasts. You will, you will lose it. Because this is someone who carries low vibrating energy within them. And so then it starts to spread all over into your life. You have to get with like-minded individuals. If you want better, you got to fucking do better. Look, look at what's picking his head, child. So you got somebody doing spell work trying to cause problems between the emperor and the empress trying to make these two people hate each other on a soul level so they won't come together and meanwhile while she's doing the spell work she's studying spirituality studying how to mimic everything that the empress does because that's exactly what the cards say so she can make this man think that she is the real one hell no if everything in your life is dying that's a red flag that you with the wrong motherfucker because when you get with the real empress it's nothing but abundance it's nothing but fucking abundance. Look at this empress and look at this one. Their life is going to tell you. That's how you know a person's soul, what's going on on a soul level. If it's a bunch of chaos and conflict going on around that person, they're not doing good on a soul level. This empress ain't got all this bullshit. You're not being cautioned, 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 cautioned about the real empress. You're being cautioned about this toxic motherfucker that you got a family with. Yeah, they want to keep the truth hidden. You have to listen to your intuition, child. What else, fear? Don't fuck up this test. Do not... Listen, all right, somebody finna, somebody playing with their life. Yeah, see? This motherfucker think that shit is funny. Because on a soul level, this person is sent here to keep you stuck. Can't make it up. They want you bound to them. What does the card say? Feeling bound to the current situation. This is how this person wants you. Just like I showed you in that devil card. You got to hold back from this person. Because they're going to be coming towards you. With the page of wands. That's that distant thunder. This person's going to be coming towards you. Telling you how they change. And they doing. They making. Um, uh, what's that? Could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. With the moon. With the two of cups. Also spirit is saying. You need to keep this hidden. Whatever it is that you plan on doing, ain't that what I said at the beginning? Keep that shit hidden. Because you got motherfuckers that do not, more than just this copycat person, you got a lot of people. You Because you have to understand, on a soul level, the emperor and the empress, they have a mission together. The devil actually needs a body to work through to get his work done. So they're going to try to cause a bunch of chaos and conflict. So keep your moves silent. Don't tell this motherfucker shit. If they think you coming back to them, okay, whatever, bro. I wouldn't even let them think that. You have to be, you have to let this person know. You ain't got to tell them where you're going, but you got to let them know it ain't shit between y'all. Your work is done. Five of cups here. Listen, if you, oh my God, somebody being warned. 
caution if you take this copycat motherfucker back. Even if they might call you and say they're pregnant, or this could be someone you already got kids with. With toxic family, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. Because it's all the way up a beat on the soul level. You can't even sit down and eat with this person. Y'all sitting side by side. Y'all might be laughing, kiki and ha-ha, but on the soul level, y'all fighting each other. This person's soul is fighting your soul because you are a being of light. I don't understand why people don't see that. Look at that. What's peeking through? You will regret this shit. Ten of swords. This devil knows exactly what the hell they doing. They feel like they own you. This is a very possessive, obsess obsessive motherfucker right here. Look, it fell out again. Could be a Libra here, but baby, don't you do it. Do not fucking do that shit right there. Okay? Continue to work on yourself. Go down your path, whatever it is that you're working on. Don't let this person just come in out the nowhere and get you fucked up. Tower, seven of swords. Mm -mm. Spirit say, keep walking, keep moving. Go slow and take your time, but make sure you are continuing to move forward. What brings you closer to your happiness and what brings you further away from it? If dealing with this toxic shit round and round brings you further away from your happiness, then you got to keep on moving. You got to keep on eight of cups in the situation. Eight of Cups, they ass. This might be the hardest test of your life. Yes, I'm telling you, block this person out. I don't know why motherfuckers don't understand. Two of Swords, don't deal with them. This person might try to come back in and, and make you remember how it used to be back in the good old days. They're going to throw up some type of emotional shit with all that water back there. No, like I said, this is someone who want to keep you chained and bound to them. Arrest the car. All this person is going to do is cause a bunch of blockages and obstacles. Even this car says bound. This person has you feeling bound to them. Free yourself from this darkness and go towards the light. Go towards the light. Spirit says all is possible here. Because I promise you this dark motherfucker is obsessive. And I really feel like it's somebody that you got uh, a family with. Let this motherfucker go. Baby. Let them go, child. It ain't nothing but sex anyway. For your money, King of Pentacles. Let that shit go. What's that? Yes, because this person completely codependent. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't know how to go out there and make it on their own. So this is the person that's about to get ready to communicate with you. With the eight, uh, Page of Wands and Eight of Wands. Protect yourself. Tell this person you don't want nothing to do with that. Tired of playing these games. This person has not grown at all. They're studying. Let me tell you this. They're studying. Okay? They're going to come in here acting like your life partner. Yes, they are. What does the card say? Someone is mimicking everything that you do. So if you have grown, they're going to come in acting like they have grown. You have to be very careful very cautious because this is someone who just gonna block you do something that you ain't never done before you always dealing with this person go towards something you ain't did before because spirit say all is possible yes do something you ain't never done before page of pentacles at the bottom this is all about learning something new doing something new got a high pitch ringing in my right ear that's what you need to do go toward this empress if this empress is different from you because she's spiritual that's that is exactly what spirit is telling you to do. Try something new. Stop saying it, staying in the old ass cycles because y'all are the same. Y'all are not the fucking same on a soul level. How? This is this person you got kids with, and this is you. There's nothing. Hmm, baby. That's why I be telling people you have to come up out of the old ass ways of thinking because this is what keeps people bound. You think y'all are just alike because maybe y'all are alike on the fucking physical. But this is a spiritual fight. This is spiritual warfare. So on the soul level, y'all ain't shit alike. And this person's trying to block your forward movement. They ain't keep you stuck and bound because they obsessed with you. Spirit says, try something new, baby. Change. Go down a different fucking path. All right, so page of swords with the four of pentacles. This person, okay, so you could be watching this empress. The real one. And you're holding back. But you know that this person is complete wish fulfillment. That is the person that you're being guided to go toward. Not this dark, obsessive motherfucker that you keep going around and around and around when you wonder why y'all ain't never made it. You've been doing that shit possibly nine fucking years. You ain't gonna make it. This is someone who just keep dragging you down. <laughs> yeah. This is the person that's about to communicate to you. 
There's jealousy here, five of swords. This person could, could they're like a fucking gold digger is what they are. Mm, mm, mm. Could be a Taurus. We got Leo energy here. This shit has been revealed. This person gonna come in acting like they want a commitment with you, but it's only because they want your money, seven of swords. This person's trying to steal from you and keep you bound so that you don't go towards your blessing. If you think you are seeing a lot of success now because you're the king of pentacles, that ain't shit compared to what you're going to see when you get on the right path. And this person knows it because they've been getting all of these damn tarot card readings done on you behind the scenes. Thank you, spirit. They're getting all of these readings done behind your back. And they know for a fact that they are not your divine counterpart. They know they're a copycat. And they're going to hold y'all. Like I said, you really might have kids with this person or else this shit wouldn't have came out here for me. It's what I'm getting here. Y'all might have a little boy together. Hell, you might even have two. I wouldn't give a fuck if you had 30. This is a toxic cycle. And like I said, the devil needs an actual body to work through. And this devil is working through this queen of wands. Okay, you might have some type of, with this obsession, this person could be addicted to you sexually. You might have some type of weakness for this person. You're going to have to break that chain, child. You're going to have to break it. Yes, break the chain. Get back with them if you want to. There ain't no card in here telling you that this is the right person for you. And you know it ain't. Every time y'all try to make it work, it might be good in the beginning, but it always ends up in a fucking disaster. It always ends up in a disaster, and guess what? It always will, because this person is only sent here to create blockages and obstacles. And Spirit says, you've already outgrown this shit, so why take it back? Now it's time for you to do some self-reflecting and realize what it is that you want. Ask the Most High God for it. And I feel like you're sitting here watching this Empress, seeing this person as wish fulfillment, but you're holding back. Holding back for what? How are you going to hold back from an Empress, but then you are openly giving yourself to someone that you need to be protecting yourself from i would never understand that shit a day in my life okay so with the ace of pentacles this ace is coming from the divine the ace of pentacles is a large amount of money coming through it's like you get on this pathway with the right person and with the coffin here completely in this cycle you're going to be blessed you're going to be very abundant because you have been doing the work but you need to know you got this person about to come back in they about to come, this person from the past, they're about to come back in. Listen, Knight of Cups, they're going to love bomb the fuck out of you, okay? Because they broke as hell. They lonely and they broke. So they're going to come in, love bomb the hell out your ass, this person from the past, give you all of the attention, because this is what they want. They want that brand new beginning with you, because they know whoever you are, you're going to take care of their fucking ass. This is someone who's lazy. I saw the damn card. They lazy. They don't want to do no work. And this person is not spiritually on your path anymore. It's done here. Ten of swords. This shit is over. Yeah. Seven of pentacles. Been doing this shit riding around for a long ass time. Let that shit the fuck go. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles with the star ace of pentacles. That's exactly what spirit's saying. If you pass this damn test, this is where you're going. This is exactly where you're going with the sun. Oh, my God. But you got to pass this test from this past person. So, I don't know who reading this is. I know it's for an emperor. Don't fall for this bullshit. Hell no. And they be... They so tricky. They are so fucking tricky, these motherfuckers. Because... You got everything that they need. They get to feed off of you energetically. People got to understand that's what it's all about is energy. Even money is energy. This person, ain't they go completely codependent. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This motherfucker can't go out there and create shit. They don't know how. All, all they know how to do is use your, their sexuality to get what they need in life. Because this is someone who's a fucking gold digger. And then you got kids with them. That make it harder. But fuck that. Spirit say you see it. You've grown. You see the truth. Now choose a different path. Do something that you ain't never done before. And I feel like you're someone who won't go toward the empress because of some type of difference. But the more you watch this empress, the more you see the child. Ain't that much fucking difference, bruh. Ain't that much difference between the two of y'all. It's that old outdated thinking. That old ass paradigm that make you think y'all are so different. Y'all are destined to be with the will of fortune here. That's why you keep being drawn to this person. 
got to let them uh, limiting beliefs go. Try something new. You're being challenged to try something new. And just see how it turned out. I don't understand why people think they can do the same old thing and something different's going to happen. No. You have to try something new. Choose a different path. Let go of the dumb shit that keeps blocking you. You know who it is in your life that keeps blocking you because spirit keeps warning you about this person. But it's your... Yeah. The fact that y'all got kids with this person... I don't know what clouds your judgment, but <laughs> spirits say, hell no. Nah. Do something different. Go toward the person that you can't stop thinking about. The person that you can't stop watching. That's happening on uh, for a reason. You're not just thinking about this person out of the blue for nothing. That's the person spirit wants you to go toward. And yeah, there might be some differences. Maybe you are very traditional and this person's very spiritual. What the hell does that matter at the end of the day? Stop looking at shit on the physical. Like I said, this is spiritual warfare. Why people don't understand? It be the dumbest shit that keep people stuck. Oh, well, we we from the same town. Oh, well, I've been knowing this person forever. That don't mean shit on a soul level. What does that mean at the end of the day? On a soul level. Nothing. What else, spirit? Let me just get some, because I'm, I'm starting to get upset. I went off like this. Who reading was that when I went? I went the fuck off. I couldn't even contain my, um, Leo's reading. I went the fuck off. It's some shit like this. Some baby mama shit. They kept trying it year after year. I'm like, <laughs> that's the, well, ain't that the definition of a fucking insanity? I'm going to keep on and keep on and keep on doing the same shit with the same person. And I want different results. How the fuck does that sound? And then when shit don't work out and you're feeling isolated and alone and everything done fell apart, you're left by yourself to pick up the fucking pieces. There would be no pieces to pick up. Anytime the tower hit, that mean that shit was never meant to be. Stop trying to pick up the damn tower and rebuild it. Hell no, nah, take them bricks and go rebuild that shit somewhere else with someone else. Stop doing this, this dumb shit. Okay, just stop. Whoever this is. Over and over and over again. Hoping and praying. You got to stop looking at shit through the potentials. It, see this person for what the fuck they is. They are blockage. A big ass blockage in your life. Yes. Fresh beginnings. Start something different. Do something different. Child. Spirit says it's safe for you to do something different. It is safe for you to take, take charge of your life in positive ways. You didn't just go through hermit mode and did all that work on yourself to go back to a motherfucker to go through the same thing again? Hell no. But that's how they want you to think. And they're, they're studying. They're studying everything that they think you want, which is that empress. If you're telling this person you went through a spiritual awakening, they're telling you they went through a spiritual awakening. Whatever it is that you, if you're telling this person you got saved, you got baptized, they're telling you they got saved, they got baptized. Copycat motherfuckers. Okay, but I just showed you who it was. Dark, very obsessive. They feel like they own you. They don't own shit. The most high God owns you. You are property of the most high God. So if you stand up toward this person, God will fight the rest of the battle. But you got to stand up first. Tell them, hell no. Our, our work here is done. That's it. Ain't no more, um, we just had sex because that's convenient. No, you got to respect your body more than that. If you want something real, you, it's got to be real all the way around. It's got to be real all the way around. Stop giving yourself over to that low vibrating energy because they're sucking energy from you. And they can do that in multiple ways. If you're cutting yourself off from that person, even if y'all have kids, that's all it need to be is co-parenting. Okay, little JoJo got a game on Saturday. Okay, I'll be there at 630. Oh, you can't pick him up? I'll pick him up. Ain't no, well, you come spend night in my house and we can just sleep with each other. And then, now, for what? Where is y'all? Where that shit getting you? It's blocking you because the real love, the real shit that's going to be long lasting can't come in because you're still playing games with this past person. You have to completely cut that shit the fuck off on all levels. Emotionally, physically, financially, you have to really prove to the most high God that, yes, I'm ready for my blessings. And that past shit, once you stand up to it and tell it what it is, it'll be a thing of the past. But if you keep letting this person come in and take over your fucking life. That's exactly what they're going to do. And you always be stuck. 
then you can't blame nobody but yourself. Because the most high God is giving it to you. That's why you can't stop thinking about that person. That's why you're always watching that person. So it's up to you. Spirit is telling you to try something that you ain't never did before. And watch how you be blessed. Okay? All right. And that's what I have for somebody here. It's your girl, Spirit. She said, hopefully these damn emperors do the right thing. Because at this point, that's who it's on. It ain't most of these empresses that's out here fucking off with these karmics. It be these damn emperors that just, for somehow they, in Leo's reading, I just can't let go. Why? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. You allow this person, to, it be good for the beginning. And then they take your fucking life through hell and back. And then you left picking up the fucking pieces. Before you know it, 10 years done went by and you've been doing the same shit year after year after year. Spirit is simply asking someone here, try something different. Do something that you have never done before. If you've never dated a fucking whatever the fuck it is, do that. If your ass ain't never ate fried chicken with some hot sauce on top of it, do that. Do something different. And watch how that shit turn out. Simple dimple. People have to understand it's okay to coexist. It's okay for you to be religious and me to be spiritual. I respect your boundaries. You respect my boundaries. And we can coexist and have a beautiful life together. People be so stuck on that. Oh, hell no. She's spiritual. Uh -uh, I'm scared of that. But I'm not scared to allow the person that who thinks just like me. Both of us are religious. But I see this person ain't no good for me. But I'm going to continue to allow them in my space because we think alike. It don't fucking make sense. Do something different. Till next time.